All right, so welcome back and thanks for tuning in to another video. So you guys know what time it is. You guys can see what I got in the back here. So I don't want to do too much talking. Let's go over this Core Air Raider and what I'm about to do next. So stay tuned. Here we go. So this is the Classen TA 18 inch Core Air Raider that I rented from Home Depot. This is the smallest one available. This one has four wheels. This is not the classic big drum uh, Core Air Raider, the ones that they have, the pro style ones. I actually found this one a lot easier to maneuver for the average DIY person because the one with the big drum could be a workout in itself. And if you're not experienced enough, that thing will run you over. So this one with the four wheels, I like it better. It's still gonna do the same job. You're gonna be able to maneuver this one a lot better and it's easier on yourself. So let's go over a few things here. So in order to start this class in core aerator here, I'm gonna go ahead, this is the choke. You're gonna switch that to the on position to the left. You're gonna turn the fuel to the on position to the right here. Then you go ahead and you're gonna turn the on switch on. Now, all you gotta do is pull the coil here and then it's gonna be able to fire up in no time. So now it's in a standstill position. If you wanna use the core aerator and drop the tines down here, it got five set of tines on the bottom here, as you can see. You're gonna go ahead and take this handle and then you'll drop it down to the ground. Now the tines are on the ground and you're ready to go once you start it. Once you pull the coil, turn it on, let it run for about a minute or two, let it warm up the engine. And you also are gonna wanna use this setting right here. Now this is your speed setting. You got the rabbit and then you got the turtle. The turtle is the slower part, the rabbit is the faster part. You see it's in the middle position here. I recommend using it in, in that middle position. Um, unless you're a little more experienced and you can go and travel at a little faster pace, then you move it up a little bit more to the rabbit side. But me, I found that leaving it right in the middle give me the perfect balance so I'm not being pulled by this machine because this is a heavy machine here and it will pull you if you're inexperienced. But like I said, this machine is a lot better than the drum machine because that drum machine is hard to maneuver. So for people that are like kind of physically unable to really do this type of work, I would recommend getting a smaller one like this and moving it at your own pace. Now, this one does have a weight but the weight here is not removable. On the big one, the weight, you could slide it in and out and make it a little lighter. But here, I, I tried to take it out, but I don't think you could take this weight out. So I'm not gonna worry about that too much, but this is just the basic instructions. And when you want it to go, once it starts up, this is your like basically power switch. So once you start pressing it back, it's gonna start going. So I'm gonna show you guys how to core air rate, how to use this machine. If you guys already use this machine and already been doing it, so then you already know, you don't have to, you know, you could just watch the video and enjoy. But this is the core aerator that I rented for today. Um, and I like it because it's like I said, it's a lot easier than that big drum. And it's easier to turn. That big drum, <clears throat> once you start to turn, it kind of if you don't turn properly with that big drum one, you can rip your grass up. This one is a lot easier because of the four wheels. So I don't know why they don't make them all with four wheels. That big drum thing is like kind of old school, old fashioned. I don't like it. I used it one time and I, it was it was beating me up. So this one is a lot easier to manage for a lot of uh, inexperienced DIYers that just want a core air rate without getting punished for it. So let's go ahead, let's get started. So I'm gonna show you how to warm it up.
All right, so as you guys can see, I'm walking at a nice steady pace. I am gonna actually do front to back and side to side. That's the best way to actually core aerate. Same way I told you about dethatching. You wanna go front to back, side to side. So that means you're covering all square footage of your yard. And it's gonna give you the best possible core aerated uh, lawn possible. Now, first and foremost, before you even get your core aerator, make sure you walk your yard and identify the problematic areas. My problematic areas were next to the back fence there. That's the area that seemed to burn out faster, and I know why. It's because the tree stump actually grows under the lawn over there, and when it get hot, it heats up a lot faster than the regular uh, the rest of the yard, and it burns out. Well, core aerating, hopefully, is gonna promote deeper root growth. That's the whole point of core aerating. You want to promote deeper root growth so now your grass is able to grow stronger and it actually fights off heat, uh, summer drought a lot better and disease resistant as it grows stronger. So that's the whole purpose of core aeration. So you want to make sure you get a nice core aeration. Now I'm going to make sure I get a nice core aeration just for the fact I didn't core aerate at all in 2021 so I knew I had some compacted soil so I, I spent the whole two, three hours on this lawn going back and forth with core aerator. And the step number two before you get the core aerator, you want to make sure you water the grass, water your lawn 24 to 48 hours before the core aerator. That's going to help you pull the best possible cores out. You do not want a core aerator on a dry lawn. You won't get good results. So just make sure you water 24 to 48 hours before and you're gonna have a good core aerating process. Now, after you core aerate, you wanna make sure you overseed and fertilize and water deeply. Don't water deeply to the point where it gets muddy, just water to keep the lawn moist. That's gonna help you get the best possible germination out of those seeds. So, as you guys can see, I'm working hard here. Don't overdo it with the core aerator with the speed and if you are not physically able to core aerate then you might want to call your local lawn and garden or your local lawn care uh, uh, people and they could possibly come out and do the core aeration for you I know in my area core aerating from a lawn care person is between like 40 to 80 bucks they'll come in core aerate your whole yard this is only for people that are physically unable but still want the same process done on their lawn so if you're physically unable to do it don't stress yourself out, just go ahead and call somebody and it, you can get it done. But for the most part, the people that can do it, make sure you don't overwork yourself because this core aerator is a beast and it will pull you, it will pull you and you can hurt yourself if you don't know what you're doing or if you use the core aerator the wrong way. So have a good process. I'm going to get back to core aerating. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Stay tuned for the results. All right. so. I finished core aerating. I actually returned the machine, but look at the yard. The yard looks beat up badly, but trust me, once you seed, fertilize, and water, in two to three weeks, you're gonna be happy with the results, trust me. Now, some areas I did mess up. Let me go over and show you, because it happens. This area right here, the machine, when I was turning, I dug in a little too deep, and the wheels kinda dragged up and and as you can see it ripped up some of the grass here and i want to show you guys that because nothing is perfect it happens so if it happens to you guys just know that it happened to me and it happens to everyone some people choose not to show you it but it happens you know if you're not we're not experienced people we're you know DIYers. so sometimes that happens but when you overseed and you water and fertilize that is going to break down it's going to settle in and if it's bothering you, you can take a rake or you can go over and step on it and just pat it down and stuff like that and even it out. But I'm not gonna do that, but I just want to show you guys that it does happen with the machine. So don't be alarmed, everybody goes through it. But for the most part, you guys gonna say, man, that lawn looks beat up. And it does look beat up, but this is what I wanted because when I seed, I'm gonna get fantastic results, trust me. This is the process. I haven't um, aerated back here in about two seasons, so it was overdue. But that's what I wanted to do. I had the machine for about four hours. I rented it from Home Depot for four hours, and I made sure I got my four hours worth. 
got the machine back there with about two minutes to spare. So it, 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 it was worth the process. Let me show you this. This was a problematic area that I showed you that I was gonna hit extra here. This whole line basically up against this fence. And as you guys can see, I got a lot of plugs pulled out back here. This was the problematic area because they got a tree root that actually grows under here. And once it gets hot, the grass burns out back here. So hopefully now, once I oversee and the current grass that's here, and it starts to get strengthened down and it starts to root a lot deeper, that's what's gonna help you, uh, your grass survive. Stronger roots, roots that develop deeper can last through uh, harsh conditions a lot better so if you have shallow roots and you wonder why your grass keep burning out that's why because you have shallow roots so you make sure you water deep and frequently and make sure you fertilize properly so when I go ahead and start overseeding in about two to three weeks the results I promise you that's gonna pop in very very nicely so also I hope you guys subscribe to the channel to keep up with the progress because I'm gonna show you what you need to use because now that the soil is open you're opening yourself up to weed seeds germinating same way we're trying to get the grass seed to germinate weed seeds see this as an opportunity to invade the lawn so i'm going to show you guys what to use before you actually throw down your grass seed so that's going to come in the next video so i just want you guys to see how everything turned out back here the process back here came out really really well to me you guys that are new you're probably gonna look at it and say man that yard is beat up but trust me once everything settled leave the core plugs on the soil trust me they will break down so back here I got some core I got some baby cores but that was because I pulled um more cores and I kept going over it over and over so the machine was kind of flattening some some of the cores out so some of the cores are smaller and they broke up already because I, I'm telling you, I went over this thing a good 20 to 30 times and in the front also. So, but trust me, if you do it this way, you're gonna be happy with the results. Your grass is gonna be able to breathe and have air circulate a lot better. Your fertilizer and water is gonna go deeper, causing your grass roots to grow deeper. So, hope you guys enjoyed, check it out. This is how you want it to look. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys consider subscribing to the channel and like the video if it helped you out in any way. And if you got any comments about this process, please leave them in the comment section and I definitely will answer back to you guys. Um, let me know what you're doing this fall lawn season to prep for 2023. Let me know, I'm curious. Um, me, if you guys want to follow the progress or you have uh, your first time here at the channel, please subscribe to the channel to keep up with the progress and to see how everything turns out because I got a lot more things to cover. We're not done yet. This is just the beginning of the fall lawn care season. So stay tuned and take care.